Okay, so it's that time again. Time for another solo overnighter in the woods. And I'm thinking we do another bucket list item. This time, pocket knife only. Let's get to it. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. This is about as ready-made as you're gonna get out here in the woods. We have a down red pine, and it's gnarly and bent, but it is supported. We got these gnarly branches all sticking through here, kind of like spikes or megalodon shark teeth. Be like, that's a 20 footer, 25. Got two tons on them. Let's face it, I can do this all day. So I'm thinking we make a natural shelter slash debris hut right here. We have crap everywhere. I mentioned that this was gonna be a knife only video, but I'm gonna leave that up open to interpretation. If I find glass bottles out here from old moonshine still or a beer bottle some hunter left, I'm gonna implement it and make it part of my kit. So let's go ahead and scour this area and get to work. MacGyver used the Super Tinker. And the two main differences are, one, on his knife, you had a Phillips head screwdriver. On the Huntsman, you have a corkscrew, okay? Also, the Huntsman comes in a variety of colors. The Super Tinker, red, and American flag. Just some extra knowledge right there, you know, just saying. Bushcraft MacGyver. Okay, so the main goal of any shelter is to block the elements. Wind, rain, snow, um, sleet, things like that. Um, but with a natural shelter or debris hut, you have to get to that point where it's good enough. So my goal today is going to be insulate this enough to where it traps heat. Um, and that's all we're trying to do here. We're playing a bushcraft Tetris game and trying to weave and fit all these broken pieces everywhere the best that I can. And then if I have time, I can go back and cover it up with moss or leaves or something else to give that extra insulative layer. Um, and that's all we're going for right now. Okay, so you see the framework starting to come together. And as always, so far so good, we're looking outstanding. Okay, like I already mentioned, the main goal of this shelter, this natural shelter, this debris hut in the woods, is to retain some heat. No rain in the forecast, and that's always a plus. Uh, waterproofing would be almost impossible unless we found some bark sheeting, which in this area, I haven't seen any. So I'm gonna concentrate on the main goal, retain some body heat. Framework is complete, and I'm thinking we can cover this up with some type of moss or leaves. But here's the best part about a shelter like this and using damn near rotten wood. I didn't use this saw once. So I conserve this resource, and we're still in the game with a pocket knife.
Okay, so I'm probably not going to get too carried away with the raking underneath the shelter, and here's why. I'm most likely going to add dead grasses or leaves underneath here, but I wanted to ensure there's not chunks of wood like this sticking up like spikes or creating those lumps and bumps. Um, you get a crappy night's sleep and then you're exhausted the next day, so the goal is always to do what you can to smooth it in the field. Fire right here, one full step away. And we'll be good to go. Okay, so our shelter's complete, and here's what I'm thinking. There's a lot of moving parts here. I need to get out here and scout the area. I need to find something I can use to make bow drill material. We're in the eastern woodlands, and I'm thinking aspen or poplar. More importantly, I need to find some type of container, mason jars, beer bottles, something from an old camp or an old hunter's camp, and use that to collect some water so once I get a fire, I can boil the water in that container to disinfect it. So. You get off my fat butt and look for resources. All the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One on my Amazon Influencer page and two on my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. So this is a heck of a find right here. This is a poplar branch, the poplar tree right there. We actually found that mayonnaise jar. A branch broke off on top, fell down here. So it's gonna give me a bow drill set as well as bird's nest material. So we'll cart this crap back and then get to work.
And that right there is solid fatwood. So the same red pine is going to give us shelter, it could also give us fire. If I had a ferro rod, I could go ahead and scrape this in the small fine shavings and then ignite it. But we're using a bow drill and fatwood is perfect for a handhold or bearing block. Okay, so two steps left. Go ahead and clean off this spindle and then carve my Pac-Man pie notch in here. And I think we'll be in business. Okay, so I'm sitting over there and I look down and I notice all this ground cedar. If you look at this one piece right here is pretty long. I mean, we're talking three, six, about eight feet long, just this one piece. And it dawned on me, I don't have any cordage other than my boot laces. And when I use that bow over there for that bow drill, I'm okay with using my boot laces for that. I'm not okay with making a tripod and suspending a boot lace with a bottle attached to it over a fire. If that fire melts that nylon boot lace, then I'm SOL on boot laces. So I'm wondering if I could take this and remove the green pieces like so, and then reverse wrap cordage this thing and beef it up. Okay, so I got three Y branches here, and three Y branches can give you a cordage less tripod. If you like what you see here, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further, grab your cell phone, download the free YouTube app and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop.
just like that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So, while we're waiting for that water to boil, check this out. I said it's gonna be a pocket knife only, so I have the clothes on my body, okay? The only extra thing I brought was my jacket. This is a Lester River Boreal coat, Boreal jacket. Google that, check him out. Lester River Boreal Forest jacket. And if you're interested, pick one up, tell him I sent you. Now, the title says, Mystery Meat. And it's a mystery because I bought it at the discount section of the store and there's no label on it. They assured me it was not dog food. But we're going to find out. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to my boy, my brother, and my fellow instructor, Paul Hack of Adaptable Survival. Check him out on YouTube, Adaptable Survival. Um, he's only got like 5k subs, which is horrible. He should have like 25,000 or more. Um, check him out. Get him bumped up. I want to see him get bumped up to 10,000 subs. All right, here we go. And it's dog food. All right, here we go. Dog food slash hoo hash. It's actually not that bad. It's actually pretty good. Mm. Catch you all in a few. And without further ado, I give you the Creekside Heineken. It smells and tastes like crap, but it's disinfected. I'll take it. Yeah, I can feel that heat right there. So the shelter's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. With that, I'm gonna load her up, catch you all in the morning. Six forty five AM. That time. Oh, my God. We did everything on here without using a knife. My knife was saved, or the blade was saved, for the bow drill set, and I used it to make that rake. So all in all, the knife is probably still sharp, it's not dull, and it worked out well. That's the uh, Swiss Army Knife Huntsman from Self-Reliance Outfitters. That link is inside my description box. And there you go, solo overnight building a natural shelter with a pocket knife only and a can of mystery meat. More great things to come. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One on my Amazon influencer page and two on my Self-Reliance Outfitters influencer page. If you're interested in Corpus Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now please do that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.